Okay, so um, what I think we'll do is just make a generic triangle okay. with a generic inscribed circle. So I guess you can, you can do that. It's probably better than me reaching through this through the screen. So a generic triangle okay. with a generic inscribed circle. something like this. Yep, very good. Okay. So where does this formula A equals S times R? A equals S times R, and I'll call the radius of the inscribed circle um, little r. Yeah. Where does this formula come from? Um, so I think it comes from the way you can find the inscribed circle, the way you can construct it, and that's from the angle bisectors. Um, which means that um, this center point will be the same distance away from all three sides. Right. Um, so that means we can draw in the radius here as it, this tangent here. Okay. And this is the same distance. Then we can um, draw in the angle bisectors, and now we're left with six right triangles. So I guess I can. I'll call the base A, B. C, D, E, and F. Okay. And A, this the sum is the perimeter here. Yeah. And so the area of all the triangles, for one of the triangles, it's one half times this base times the height. Yeah. And so for the for the sum of all the triangles, it would be we can factor out the one half, so we get. One half times the combined base, which would be the perimeter of the triangle. I'll call it P times the radius of the inscribed circle. And then P divided by two is the semi-perimeter, so we get S times R. Very good. That is a that is an excellent proof. So um Raf's uh, Raf's solution is actually really cool. It is, yeah. Uh, mirror image it and um, uh, we then we use this uh, one half s times r formula, and uh, we get exactly the same answer. Yes. Fortunately. Mm -hmm. All right. Good work this morning, huh?